hey everyone i know this is not what you're used to seeing uh, i am not on guam currently but i am here in california visiting and we are at green spot bridge near redlands uh, california and san bernardino uh, but we do have a model sherry and she is from guam um, what is your modeling experience on Guam? I know you were on, on the front cover of a couple of magazines. I was on the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Very excited. I was on the front cover of Uno magazine for 2013. And then I did um, Bridal Guide magazine 2012. I also featured on Hot... Or, um, what's it? Pika. Pika Swimsuit Edition for... Yeah. The newspaper. So Sherry um, does have a lot of modeling experience and I know she came out here to California and you've been currently living in Los Angeles for two years for about two years yeah for two years now yeah Sherry's like a sister to me we're, we're very close and uh, so sometimes um, we laugh too much instead of you know getting down to business and <laughs> actually doing the photo shoot but um, today I want to compare the Mamiya C330 medium format film camera that I have. Recently it has been uh, CLA, uh, clean, CLA, clean, lubricated and adjusted by Canada Camera. And special thank you to Mr. Fong. Uh, Mr. Fong, yeah, he, he really gave me a good price on uh, fixing the camera body and overhauling the lenses. So I'm going to compare the Mamiya camera to the Sony a7R 2 uh, today. And so I can show you a couple of shots, um, the differences between the mini format film quality and the digital full frame quality. Um, so let's start shooting. Start shooting. Yay. <laughs> Bye. looking through the Bamiya C330 that's Sherry it's very clear and to focus it's like a rangefinder I don't know if you can see it you have to line up the lines and this the center patch okay again looking through the again looking through the C330 to have a better accurate focus you just pop this down it's magnified and you can um, see the focus patch better. This was a very quick photo shoot. We were only shooting for about an hour. And I hope we got good shots. I think we did. No, we did. Don't doubt yourself. Yes, I, I shouldn't doubt myself. I always do. And I think um, every photographer always does. And we always strive to um, and models. do better. Yes, models as well. All the time. I know it took Shari about five to 10 minutes to warm up. Longer. Like 30 minutes. A little rusty. Yeah, not that good anymore. Yeah, we were actually supposed to shoot earlier, but um, someone took long on their makeup. Who? <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess it's my makeup. Yeah, and uh, that's, why, that's why it took long. But I'm going to show, um, well, throughout the video, you should have seen uh, comparisons between the film and the digital. 
uh, and I was uh, having a hard time switching back and forth. I didn't have any um, assistance today and I did take some behind the scene photos so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more videos please subscribe. Click like, subscribe and comment. Yeah, I'm already slurring because I think um, I get, I'm getting tired. I'm not used to the sun going down at 8 p.m. And it's actually like 8.15 right now and there's actually still some daylight. We still have an 8. I'm hungry. Yeah, don't feed the models. No. But I'm going to feed this model. Okay, thank you. Bye. I hope you recorded. I'm hungry. I'm here outside at the place we are staying at in Loma Linda, California. I want to take another landscape shot. The last landscape shot I took with uh, Mamiya was uh, Shari's photo shoot yesterday and it was mostly all desert. So I want to take some greens here uh, and compare the colors of both film and digital and check for sharpness. Each camera will be shot at f14 and right now I'm still using the uh, 80 millimeter on the Mamiya and this is equivalent on a full frame to about 15 millimeters so on the a7r2 uh, this will also be shot at also um, 50 uh, millimeter so for example if you want to focus closer it gives a more accurate um, uh, focus if you turn the uh, side dial to the lens you're using I forgot to mention that this knob right here, you have to adjust it to which um, lens you have attached. So I have the uh, 80. So you actually have to choose 80. And this helps with the uh, focusing at the top here. Another lens that I have is the 180 Mami lens, uh, overhauled by uh, Mr. Fong. And I was supposed to use this on Sherry's photo shoot, but I did not get a chance since we only had about an hour or hour and a half of uh, shooting time. I'm going to compare a total of five photos, similar photos using the A7R2 and the Mami C330 and all the raw files are unedited in Capture One and I just imported the uh, scan JPEGs from thedarkroom.com and I chose the option for super scans uh, or super scan um, from film which is about 20 megapixels equivalent uh, I did my best to uh, get similar uh, looking photos uh, let's look at the film on the right hand side. Let's zoom in 100%. As you can see, it's, uh, the scan did its best. Uh, a little bit more grainy than the A7R2. We zoom in on the left side to 100%. Very clean, uh, sharp as well. Let's view both of them at uh, fit to the window. Remember the medium format is a square format and this is a 35 millimeter full frame. Uh, the colors are a little bit more um, balanced out and I was actually surprised that the highlights on your skin is blown out. Uh, it's not blown out from the film. It holds it pretty well. Okay let's look at a uh, and I actually do prefer the colors for this scene on the film. Okay, let's compare our next photo. Okay, so again, A7 or 2 on the left. Uh, it's kind of hard for me. This is my first time using the medium format, square format. Um, this was shot wide open, A7 or 2, 2.8. And the uh, max shutter speed on the lens, I was using the 80mm 2.8, is 1 500th, 1 500th of a second. And I had to shoot it at around aperture f11 but 
there's still some bouquet here. Let's check it 100%. 87 R2 100%. Of course, 42 megapixels compared to the 20 megapixel scan. Uh, there's no comparison with the amount of detail A7 R2 can capture. Well, if you just um, do an overall look, uh, I do. I do love the colors of the um, the portrait of 400. All right, third picture. I was able to take a landscape shot for comparison. And it's pretty cool using the square format for the landscape shot. You can probably check uh, the detail of the rocks uh, here. Compared to the A7R2. I like the colors of the greens here. That's the good thing about film. You can actually sh uh, shoot it and very minimal editing. Uh, again, both of these are not touched at all. Alright, fourth comparison. I uh, was able to shoot the following day on uh, green landscape outside the park. Um, and to me I do prefer the warmer colors of the A7R2. This is all like auto white balance for A7R2. Check the detail of the foliage, the, the leaves here. Is that a hundred percent? I believe this is a lemon tree. Hundred percent. Right, fifth photo. I did my best to. Uh, do like a macro shot. I did not know that. Actually, I, I forget that the Mami is a TLR twins lens reflex, and one lens is just for you to look through. And so when I I thought here, um, I was in focus. Um, and what looked good and what looked centered, um, actually when I took the shot, it was way below the flower, and I took a similar shot with the um. A7R2, which captures like amazing detail. You're gonna see here, amazing detail. And I wanted to see if it, if the uh, film can capture the same amount of detail. Let's just do the petals for example. Pretty good. So looking at um, these photos here, I do like the um, the look and feel of the uh, the film for portraits. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, do some some more photo shoots with the film format, and um, I won't get the super scan next time. 20 megapixels is a lot. Maybe I'll just get the um, enhanced scan, which is I believe equivalent to. Um, 8 megapixels and you double check uh, their website um, but it, it's a good deal you just add four dollars on top of the eleven dollars for developing okay so you're ready to put in your new film you open this up you take out uh, this roll you put it up here Okay, you pull this back, put it in this side. And insert it here. Okay. 
and you move this until you see the uh, you have to line this up with the red dot like that and when you do you close it up make sure it's closed good and then brand it up to number one and you're good to go this uh, is a locking mechanism you press this here to lock the camera so you won't shoot mistakenly. Uh, to shoot, you can just two ways. Press this down to take a picture, or press this in the front to take a picture. Setting your aperture is very easy. You just set it on the lens here. Set it on the lens here, your aperture, and your shutter speed. Always make sure you're on single for single exposure and make sure your pressure plate says uh, 120. That's the 12 exposure film. So when you're winding at the last uh, shot, you'll know when you're done when the uh, winding is very smooth. See how smooth that is? So you're done with the, that roll of film. Then you just pop up with the back. And there's your film. Then you just pull this and pull it out. Time to load a new one. Recording, wait. Oh my god! Is it, is it B? Ah. Oh my god! I'm hungry. Yeah.